know, I get hundreds of invitations from people to come and see their garden. Sadly, I just can't fit them all in. But I met Lee at a Better Homes and Gardens live event. He said, come and see my garden, Graham. It's very different. And from the outside, wow. Come and have a look. <laughs> wow. Well, first impressions, there's a lot happening here in a quarter acre block. Corner blocks are always difficult, but he seems to have solved that. How are you? Hi, Graham. <laughs> Lovely to see you. Yeah. I cannot believe how beautiful this garden is. Where does this imagination and skill come from? Oh, just my idea. I got it, I do it. <laughs> you give it a go. Wherever you look, there are features. Look, take these Buxus balls, for example. There's, what, about three dozen of them. They're all the same size, beautifully clipped. It's precision work, and the sound of the water, you just cannot beat it. And then you've got these two magnificent trees. This is a weeping mulberry with a nice little garden seat around it. Then on the other side is a beautiful cut leaf bonsai. Look at that, it's really spectacular. Little crashula, the succulent, as the ground cover. But these are the fellows that I really love. Lime green, little columns of buxus. And they're so simple and easy to keep like that. Just a light trimming around the edge and they just sort of take you on a journey and then it goes down the side. So it's actually encouraging you to find out just how far they go. But you know, there's another fascinating thing, these ground covers. This is Echeveria. I understand that they all started from just half a dozen plants and you can grow them from little leaves. So simple. And there's thousands of them. And then of course the poinsettias, really a real eye-popping sort of colour. Now, I know it's not everybody's cup of tea, but you can't fail to be impressed by the precision, the ingenuity, and the skill that's gone into creating this garden. Now, this is just ordinary golden privet. And this is actually the pot, you see, it's the living pot. And there's the plant, the standard lollipop privet growing out of it. That's clever, I just like it. And of course, the ground cover here, this is the shady side of the house. And I know some people put in artificial grass, but here, they've actually put in Baby's tears, lots and lots of them. Lee's a mechanical engineer and he's originally from Thailand. So what you get is precision gardening. And his philosophy... We want to look good, we just leave it on. Right. The one not look good, we just cut off. Now you've got an Australian native bottle brush over there, so you think anything can be cloud pruned? Yes, we can do it for any tree. I've only ever seen this once or twice in the whole world. Oh, really? Yes. This effect has been achieved just by clearing the soil from around the roots. Congratulations. Thank you. I look forward to coming back in the future and just to see how it's grown. Oh, you will come anytime, anytime. <laughs> Thank you, Lee. Yeah. It's been beautiful. Thank you. Thanks for your time. <laughs>